I'm not going to politicize this at all. I think what Citizen Jones said was absolutely correct. I think it's time to step back and take a look and see if something can be done. And I'm not so rude that I walked out when somebody talked. That just shows a lot of thin-skinned people. I was up at the State House last uh, Thursday, made a special trip there. I was up working at Waterville Valley, made a special trip to the State House to be there for two bills that would benefit Hampton on rooms and meals taxes. The only people there were the state representatives Cushion, Edgar, Emmerich, and Nancy Stiles and myself. And both of these bills had to do with rooms and meals taxes, which would benefit Hampton, which I hear an awful lot about, and it's at the legislative level that that's going to be dealt with. I was surprised. I was surprised to look at the sponsors on the bills. Well, some of us have to work during the day. That's during fine. The day, so can't go to Congress. That's fine. You could... I am uh, just making the comment that it would be good for people to support these things, but I, do, I don't think this should be politicized. I think the governor came down. It was an ill-conceived meeting. It was called too quickly. He might have stacked the uh, deck, but the fact of the matter he is... to stack it is what I want to know, when, and somebody did. Wait a minute. We know who did that. When, I have a feeling, too. I cannot guarantee that anybody spoke about, to anybody about anything, but I can guarantee one thing people that I spoke with What's this meeting about? Why are they having this meeting? Who called it? I can guarantee you that, but I can't guarantee, as other people on this board can, what people are talking about who they don't even talk to. So that's good. I can't point fingers at anybody, and I don't point fingers at people and say that, hey, maybe you're doing this or maybe you're doing that, or you're the problem. I don't do that. I don't hyperbolize everything and blow it way out of proportion. This shouldn't be politicized. It's an opening. It's an opportunity. Save the people of Hampton the money of going to court. Our legal department's out of control on the, on the cost of outside Point counsel. of order. That's, oh, stop. So. Point of order. Is That's, now, now we're throwing the legal events. department out of the Point bus. Point of order. You just talked about a whole bunch now, of people. Now you're throwing the legal department out of the bus. And Great. I, think I didn't throw the legal department out of the bus. I said the budget's way out. This. Look the at it. People want this. They Look want it. us to fight Jim, for I'll them. be the first to say I think you did a good job, and I'd like to Thank say you, that sincerely. Thank and you. I, I appreciate I, that. And I saw the emails from Nancy Stiles. She asked everyone that's on the Hampton Area Commission just to sit and absorb what was being said. But I, that's not what – well, I guess John's not on it anymore. Well, He's I the just, Chamber of Commerce. He's not even elected Let's official. not talk about people. Yeah, that talk totally about confuses me why talk he about ourselves. talking. That is so Fine. wrong. But I think Citizen Jones had a very, very good point. Let's not politicize it. Let's drop all the he fighting about really it. He has a really good history. Uh, yeah, but we'll he had a good advice. point on this one. I don't agree with him on a lot of things. He had a very good point. Let's see what we can do to get out of this, if, get what we need. That's it. The town of Hampton wants their share of money. Before I agree 100 percent. I agree 100 percent. Uh, these private concerns. I agree 100 percent. By the town, Rick means the people that live here and the businesses. That I agree 100 percent. And I'm. We want to get back to order in the meeting, please. We're finished with the announcements. Let's go on to the.